So in my story, what did I do? I examined my assets, my strengths. What did I have at my disposal to work with? What was my weakness? What was not available to me? Okay, so that's what we are going to do in step number two. You are going to examine your strengths and your weaknesses, those of your business and those of yourself, actually. So in step number two, here are some simple rules I want you to follow because this you're going to be doing an exercise. So make sure you download your next worksheet dealing with strengths and weaknesses. So your simple rules. I want you to be realistic about your strengths and weaknesses of your organization. I know there's all these things we want to do and that we're working on, but if they're not in place yet, then don't put them down as a strength. It is not available yet. But you will have things that you do have as strengths. Not only you personally, but your business as well. So think of your strengths, strengths of maybe some key employees that you can leverage. For example, I was, I enjoyed teaching. I leveraged that in one of my business models. I enjoy teaching. I'm a good teacher. Uh, I brought in a partner eventually, and she was an excellent. She was excellent at food prep and creative ideas, and she was actually a very good teacher too. So we ended up doing a lot of uh, food prep workshops together. So that was a personal strength that we were able to leverage to lend to the business. So think about your strengths and your weaknesses. Be realistic about it. Um, it should distinguish between where your organization is today and where it will be in the future. So again, if you're working on something in the future or you have aspirations, don't put that down as a strength today. That's something in the future. I, you should, it should be um, specific. I don't want gray areas. Um, I want you to be pretty specific as to what the strength is or the weakness. I remember I was um, having my marketing class create a, a, a business plan for a business and they said, oh, they're weak in social media. And I was like, can you be more specific? Because, you know, I, I know that they do some social media. What do you specifically think is the weak area? Okay, because there's lots of areas in social media. What are they spe what specifically do they need to focus in? What are they specifically weak in? So I want you to avoid the gray areas because that's not going to help you come up with your solutions. Always apply the tool in relation to your competition, better or worse than your competition. Okay, so keep your competition in mind. And keep this short. I mean, don't get into some huge large analysis okay but and also be subjective it's really cool i i had a marketing class and um this past uh one of these past semesters when COVID hit um i didn't have any businesses that wanted me to work with them they were so bogged down with um with dealing with COVID. i had no entrepreneurial small business volunteering to be my case study for my marketing class. I, I teach a marketing class at the local community college. So um, I was looking for a business where we could create a business plan. And so I had to offer natural zing as the business case. And so it was really amazing because when you are inside your business, sometimes you you just know too much, you see too much, and you, you get sort of, you can't see things subjectively. However, these students were looking from the outside in. And they could see 
the problems. They were honest about the problems. They also were honest about the strengths. Stuff that we took for granted, we just, oh, well, we always do that. Um, this is what we do. We, you know, we, we ship out really quick. We, you know, have great customer service. We, you know, always, we pick up the phone. These are things that we just, th that's what you do. Of course you have excellent customer service. Of course you ship out, you know, almost the, you know practically the same day you get the order in, in natural zing's case usually it is the same day we get the order so um come to find out a lot of companies don't do that they don't pick up the phone and they you know so we we just assume that you had to have you know great customer service and great shipping and it was just you know we didn't realize that was a strength we just thought oh uh, doesn't everybody do this no they don't um, and so that's really important to try to be subjective. You might actually ask somebody else to help you with your assignment and say, what do you see as our strengths? What do you see as our weaknesses? Because they will see things that you don't see. Um, and I want you to keep focused on the customer. Okay, so what this means, what are the strengths that in relationship to the customer? What are the weaknesses that, that are, you know, uh, that impact the customer? And so a weakness might not um, seem outwardly apparent to the customer, but it could still manifest into a bad customer experience. Um, if you, for example, uh, freeze most of your food that you serve and it's not fresh, the taste is going to be apparent to the customer. They don't see you pull it out of the freezer when you make it, but they taste it. They taste that it's not fresh. They can tell that. So it does have an impact to the customer. Um, so keep in mind when you're looking at strengths and weaknesses, what can impact, what is impacting the customer. Okay, I'm gonna give you some examples. So gives you a little bit more to go on. Um, some strengths could be, uh, maybe you are a specialist in marketing, okay? So you have that marketing expertise, you can bring that onto, uh, into the area. Or maybe you're, um, uh, you know, you have a new or innovative product or service. Maybe that's something new. Maybe you're really good at technology and you can bring that in. Maybe it's the location of your business. Uh, the quality processes and procedures that you have. Um, you know, oftentimes that's not seen by the customer, but it does impact the customer in better quality customer service and more efficient processing of everything. Um, and, and any other aspect of your business that adds value to your product or service. Um, some of the weaknesses could be, a, could be a lack of marketing expertise. Maybe you just really don't know a lot about uh, marketing, but you're really you're a really great chef, or you really know the products inside and out. Um, uh, or it could be um, you have uh, your products don't differentiate much compared to competitors. Um, maybe the location of your business is your weakness. <laughs> um, maybe you have poor quality goods or poor quality re services. Maybe you have poor customer service. Um, maybe your reputation is damaged. So all of these could be weaknesses that you have to be aware of. And so you're going to go and um, list these things. And first of all, let me exercise number two. I'm just going to walk you through it. So strengths and weaknesses. Make sure you print out your worksheet. If you have not, pause download it and print it off. Um, so the first th three things we're gonna talk about is list three things that make you stand out from your competition. Okay, what makes you better than your competition and you know, stand out from your competition? That you do better than your competition. Or maybe it's something unique that you have. So list those three things. And at any time you can pause if you need more time. List three specific skills you develop that make you successful at what you do. Maybe it's your, you know, your, uh, your, your skills at being a chef. 
your creativity side or your efficiency side. Um, there's lots of things. Could be your marketing side. Could be your your how you work with your customers. Maybe you interact with your customers and your customers love you and are loyal to you because of that. Um, but if you're not there, the customers don't like to come in. <laughs> so, so whatever it happens to be. Um, again, you can pause if you need more time. Uh, list three things in your business that make you the happiest. These are things that you would never outsource. You want to keep these things because you're good at them, you enjoy them, you love them, you're passionate about them. You don't want to give these things up. Make sure you list those three things so you know that it's not something that you're going to outsource. Okay. The next thing on your worksheet, and I don't have it in my slides, you are going to finish the worksheet. And the first one talks about assets you have to leverage. And if you think back to my story, I said I had a building, I had space available, I had employees, I had, you know, I had the, you know, the prep tables and the uh, equipment to use as a, a contract kitchen. So I had those as assets. What do you have that you have as assets that you could leverage for another business model? Are there some weaknesses as far as, you know, what don't you have? Okay. Technology. Is this a strength or a weakness? What technology strengths do you have? What technology weaknesses do you have? And again, be specific. Technology is a very broad word. Okay. Even social media, like I gave in my example, too broad of a word. Be specific. If your POS system is out of date and it doesn't allow you to um, have people order online, then that is your, that's specific. Okay, the next one is brand and company image. How is your, what's your reputation? Is, do you have a good image? What do people think of when they think of your business? You want to put that down. Then there's marketing skills. Again, marketing skills is very broad. You might be great with in-person customer interaction or great with blogging but when it comes to using certain uh, marketing technology you might not be so good and again be specific maybe you're not good at emails I'll give an example I am great with marketing copy when it's short okay but if it's a long what they call long page marketing copy or if it's a long blog I'm not so good with that. I actually have dyslexia, so I flip words and letters. So, um, so when it comes to like, I always have to have somebody proof me, proofread my copy. I'm a great copywriter, but usually I specialize when it's short copy. When it gets too long, then I know I need people to proof because it gets too. I'll make too many typos and too many mistakes. So it can be frustrating to me. So I don't enjoy long marketing letters or long marketing pages. I enjoy the short things, the short, tiny, impactful. Um, okay, personnel employee. What personnel do you have that have some capabilities you can leverage? What are their strengths and what are their weaknesses? Do you have employees that are weighing you down? Do you have employees that are just not functioning? The way they need to function for your business and you need to get them out or train them up or get them a mentor or you know what do you need to put in place to get them where they need to be or is it just not the right fit you can tell I'm the person who fires people at natural say <laughs> I mean I very much believe in mentoring and being a leader I have many interns that I've uh, mentored and um, led over the years and many teams that I've led but um, if somebody's not a right fit and they have no interest in growing, it's time to let them go. So it, 
but if you do have employees that have great capabilities that you can leverage make sure you put that on there and what their strengths are okay financial resources what financial resources do you have at your disposal can you be creative with this this may not specifically be oh I have money in a bank account or I have I can get a loan maybe you have a um, a vendor relationship you can leverage maybe you have a, a partnership you can leverage maybe there's something you can leverage to help you financially and the final one that I list down here is unique offerings is there something unique that you offer that that is your strength okay is so is there basically is there is there something unique that you offer and that is your strength because that can be a really core competitive advantage if you have something unique that nobody else can copy that is a very strategic competitive advantage that you want to be able to take advantage of that so again pause take as much time as you need to fill this section out